All right, day three of my 90 day live and my makeup looks like shit, but that is okay. Um, <laughs> I am doing 90 days of lives here on Facebook to challenge myself to keep my word and show up more on social media. So I have been talking to you guys about my life and how I got my start in naturopathic medicine and I've been going through my story. So today I'm going to pivot a little bit. Yesterday I talked about how I got my start in naturopathic medicine. Um, I didn't finish that story, but I, I just kind of got it started. Um, but today I'm going to talk a li little bit about um, a concept that has really touched my heart um, in the last few months that my colleague and I have um, embarked upon a um, an immersive experience with Alpha Fem. And the coach there has a story about pineapples that I want to share with you guys that I shared with Phaedra last night. So as most of you know who have been following me for a while, um, my stepdaughter came to live with us a year ago yesterday. And um, I have been with her father since she was five years old. She is now 16. She came to live with us when she was still 15 and she was going through all the things that teenagers go through. And it has been my um, mission and my duty to be her role model and be her guide and her coach. And it's been a bit of a difficult journey for me because she's a teenager and I was a strong-willed teenager. She's a strong-willed teenager. Um, it's just the way that things are. Teenagers are a little bit difficult sometimes and they, um, they are they can just be kids, you know, they don't understand things. So I have um, been guiding her through the year and um, sharing with her all of my little nuggets of wisdom. And yesterday was the year mark of her being with us and I brought home a um, little stuffed animal for her and some flowers. But while I was looking for the stuffed animal, I was looking for just the right stuffed animal to give to her because there was a lot of Valentine's stuffed animals and they weren't really appropriate for the message I was trying to send to her um, of how proud I was of the changes she's made. I mean, we still have a ways to go, but she has just absolutely blossomed and made some pretty big shifts that are absolutely incredible, right? So how was I going to share with her, um, convey to her my... Um, my appreciation and you know my pride in how she's done um so i i was looking at the stuffed animals and i'm like none of these work and then all of a sudden i see a little koala bear pineapple a little pineapple and so i bought her the flowers and bought her the little koala bear pineapple and the pineapple is really significant to me right now and so it just was really appropriate and I'm going to share with you guys why the pineapple is so significant in my life currently. So for those of you who don't know about pineapples, pineapples take 18 months to grow. One pineapple plant at a time. Once it's ready to be picked, the same plant can produce a second pineapple. This one will take a year to grow. Once the pineapple plant has birthed two pineapples, it is then uprooted and the new crown is planted in its place. It takes longer to create a pineapple than a human baby. Can you guys believe that? It takes longer to create a pineapple than a human baby. Twice as long. So we often question the timing of the universe. We even give up on our dreams because they don't seem to come to fruition as fast as we believe they should. But what if we choose to trust? What if we choose to trust that everything in our life has perfectly aligned at harvest time? That we can't see what's growing in the crops beneath us, but magic is happening. That we trust that Mother Nature, God, the universe, whatever you want to call it, they've heard us. God has heard us. God has received the seed we have planted. That the mindset we water our thoughts with and the rays of sun and hope and warrant that warms our heart and dreams are strengthening us and aligning us with the people, the places, and the circumstances we desire. I believe the life we create is like an ecosystem. Everything has a place in its purpose. Some things regenerate quicker than others. Some operate on different timing. If you've been feeling worried that your dreams aren't manifesting as quickly as you desire, 
please remember that your fruits of your labor are on its way. You planted those seeds however long ago, and the golden fruits with crowns are being are worth being patient for. Pineapple season is coming. I'm just gonna cry saying that. Um, that was written by Melanie Ann Lair, uh, the leader of Alpha Femme, and it, I shared that video last night and um, with Faye, and then I gave her the pineapple and um, the little pineapple stuffed animal and the flowers and um, made us both tear up because I asked her, I said, what do you want to be when you grow up? And she says, oh, I want to go to welding school. You know, and it's changed a few times since she's been with us. And um, I said, you know what? I want you to dream bigger. What, what do you really want to be? Do you really want to be a welder waking up every morning and going and welding? Do you even know what that means? <laughs> and... Um, She's like, well, no, but I want to make money, right? And I'm like, well, life and dreaming, dreaming about your life and creating your life isn't about money. You are at the beginning of your life, little girl. So you better dream big. What would you like to do? What are your gifts? So we started talking, and I've always, you know, seen her gift as with animals. She's really good with animals, man. And she, like, she's really good with them, and she knows how to deal with birds and her and her mom are really good with birds and I am scared to death of birds. <laughs> like holding a chicken is like scary for me, okay? I'm like scared to death of birds. So I think that and I think a lot of people are, right? I think a lot of people are scared to death of, of animals that they don't understand. But see this little girl she's not. And so I told her, I said, Faye, you should do something about that. You should go like shoot for the moon. Open a bird sanctuary and help birds. She's like, I want to live by the ocean. I'm like, open a bird sanctuary and, and, and help birds by the ocean. And by the end of our conversation, she was like, I'm going to do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do everything I can to go and do that. And I'm, I told her, I said, pineapple season is coming. And so I shared with her that video, the pineapple season, and how proud I was of her for all of the changes she's made. Um, and as a stepmom, it's a, it's a, it's, <laughs> it's, it's not an easy role to be in, to be a stepmom. Um, it's not. And even if I've been with her from the beginning, it's not an easy role to be in, you know, kids, um, kids just, they're kids. And so sometimes things happen and I had to remember that, you know, recently with a few things that have gone on in my life with her, but I'm just really thankful, um, in this reflection of, of her role in my life because I don't know if I'll ever have children for those of you who don't know we've tried to conceive for years and like nothing so God you know God has a different plan for me if that's the case but she's my daughter right so she, so I want to be able to have a good relationship with her and um, I just try to groom her to shoot for the stars and remember that pineapple season is coming so if you are waiting on something in your life and you've been working really hard and you don't know what to do and why is it not coming why is it not coming just remember pineapple season is coming a pineapple takes 18 months to grow you take even longer to flourish so don't get discouraged just remember you've planted your seeds and just keep watering them okay i've got oh my gosh i got three people um watching hi guys i don't know who's watching right now because i'm on my computer but let me look let's take a look it won't tell me Awesome. Well, thank you for watching, and I really appreciate you guys following me. This is kind of awkward for me to do sometimes, but I'm learning, and I'm growing, and I'm loving it, and it's really cool to connect with everyone. So thank you for watching, and that's my <clears throat> excuse me. That is my pineapple story. So anytime that you see a pineapple, remember it takes 18 months to grow, just like you. Actually, we only took nine months to grow in our mother's belly, but in order to grow a dream, 18 months. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's coming. It's coming is my point. Pineapple season is coming. Have a lovely day, guys. And I will see you tomorrow. Um, I have a special guest, Wenatchee Seekers, is going to be joining us on my YouTube channel. Um, we will be in Lacey Listens, uh, the group. I'm going to try to zoom in and go live. And we're going to hear George's story. Um, I'm so excited. For those of you who are not in Wenatchee, um, Wenatchee Seekers is one little guy who... Um, he was, a, he had an addiction, I think, I, I'm gonna hear a story, so he was a drug addict and he was homeless, and he, he, I think he got a place to live and stuff, and he started, when he got better, he started delivering chocolate, hot chocolate to the homeless, um, and the people that are living on the streets here in town, rain, snow, shine, this man is just, 
he's a true life angel, you guys. And so I'm really excited to hear George's story tomorrow. So for those of you who want to hear George's story, pop on over to Lacey Listens, and I'm going to try and live Zoom into there. And I will be sharing the live Zoom link so you can join the Zoom room itself. And then it will be posted on YouTube. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. I will be uh, in Lacey Listens hearing George's story. If you want to share your story with me, please be sure to send me a message. Thanks, guys. Have a lovely day.